Hi, welcome to Water Breathing. My name is Joy Fido and today we're going to do something completely different. If you've been watching our videos, you will notice that I am showing you my lovely head of natural hair today. Now there's a good reason for that. Today we're going to talk about hair products, natural hair products. We get lots and lots of emails and inquiries asking us what is the best product that works for natural hair. Now, my children wear natural hair and I wear natural hair and I work with so many products. So today I'm going to guide you through the things that have worked for me and then we're going to talk about the things that are not that good for our hair. So the question is, what is our hair problem? What is wrong with Afro hair? Why do we have so much issues about it? Why are people so confused about it? Now, this is a question I ask so many people and so many people are asking me too. The problem is, there are no schools that teach you how to take off your natural hair. There are lots of cosmetology colleges all over the place. There are hairdressing schools all over the place. But do they deal with the natural Afro hair? No. What they do is they teach you how to use chemicals to alter it, to change it. Now, what I'm saying here is, we want to make sure you understand your hair first understand how to work with it and then if you decide to do something else that's no longer a problem then we don't have people saying i don't know what to do with it because that's where the issue is people don't know how to handle it we don't have anyone teaching us how to do it and so here at world of braiding we make it our business to teach you how to understand your natural hair have you ever wondered what's in the products that you put in your hair that is a question i think you should ask yourself all the time and that's a question I've asked myself several times and it's been a really long journey trying to get to this point where I am today. This is what we're going to do with these products today. You need to know what chemicals, what ingredients are in these products that is either going to help your hair now, or damage your your typical hair. chemical relaxer. I'm not going to show you the, pro the particular brand, but this is what you find in all the brands. In a, ke a typical chemical relaxer, what you'll be looking at as the main ingredient is sodium hydroxide. So again, the writings are usually very small, so you can see it. But we advise you all the time, before you put anything on your hair, read the ingredients, the labels. It's important you understand what's in it. Get yourself one of these magnifying glass. What they help you do is actually show you what the content is. And this particular product contains sodium hydroxide. What does it do? Research it. All it does is actually destroys your hair. So when you slap chemicals into your hair and you're not taking good care of it, you're basically telling your hair, I don't want to see you anymore. Same thing applies to the ones that say to you, no lie. Again, this is where you get the ingredients. Sometimes underneath the box. Go in there and look at what's in there. They are not good for you. Now, the reason we know they're not good for you, this is what they call a sink unblocker. It contains the exact same ingredients, sodium hydroxide. What do they do? They unblock your sink. So all the grime that you put into your sink and it blocks the sink, that's what these products come to do. They go in there and take them out. Now think mentally, that is the same thing that your relaxer is doing to your hair. Stripping it of its natural content is basically breaking your hair. There's something interesting about our videos. You notice we talk. Yes, we talk because we want to educate you, we want to give you information. Now I guess sometimes people are emailing me and saying to me, you talk too much. Now we may talk too much because we're educating you. We're giving you knowledge and information. If you think we talk too much and we're not giving you what you're looking for, you're free to go to another YouTube channel and look for what you want. But for people who keep in touch with us, who stay with us, we are giving you knowledge that will help you understand what you're dealing with. So please, be kind, be caring, be understanding. We are here to educate you and that's why we talk too much. So we're still working on different products that will help our hair. We want to understand what helps our hair. That this is where we are with this particular video today. Um, there are lots of products out there. You walk into your beauty supply shop, you walk into your hair shop, you cannot count them. It's like every day somebody is bringing out something new. What you need to understand is what is in this product. Now we've realized 
we talked about the chemical relaxers and we thought that was the biggest problem we were having. No, the shampoos, the conditioners, the creams that you put into your hair, most of them actually come in there, they dry out your hair, your hair becomes brittle, what next? It breaks. They actually block your pores, what next? Your hair cannot grow because it's stunted the growth of the hair. They, they seal the cuticles of your hair and so your hair cannot basically grow. It cannot survive. So it just sits there limp. So it's important you understand which product you're working with. So today we're going to talk you through some of the ones we've worked with that has helped us. But of course there's so many more out there. And we are also going to give you some homework. If there's anyone you've worked with that's helped you, please we're happy to hear about them. And of course manufacturers, if you know your product does exactly what you say it does on the team. Please, we are more than happy to try them out for you and recommend them okay. to other people. So usually your regular routine is to start with shampoos. Now the, this particular one, in the UK we saw this in Sainsbury's. These two in particular. Again, there are so many places, health food shops, you get products that don't contain sulfates. They call them sulfates free. You get products that don't contain parabens. You get products that uh, Allergen free of fragrances, um, no SLS. These are the things you want to look for. Um, you want products that don't contain, let's see what this one says. It says the same thing. It says gentle formulations and no parabens. Now remember our hair is very, very curly. So we don't want any product that will, fi will finish using it and all it does is actually makes our hair drier and tangled some more. So this is why we want products that are gentle on our hair. So again, if there are ones you've used that are really useful and good, we're more than happy to hear about them. The same thing applies to the conditioners. It has to be gentle. This particular one, it says happy hair days. So we got this from Sainsbury's. There are other ones out there we've mentioned. This particular product is called Nicerol. Um, it's a dandruff shampoo. It's a medicated dandruff shampoo. Lots of people ask me, what's the best product for dandruff? I know that there's so many out there, but this is the one that I know that actually does work on dandruff. So if you live in the UK, you might find this in Boots or regular uh, pharmacies. So you finish shampooing your hair, you finish conditioning your hair. What next do you want to put on the hair? This particular product I came across only recently is called Beautiful Textures and this particular one is a curl control. I would use this product on my hair and I'm absolutely in love with it. Another one that's equally good, they call it Jane Carter Solution and this again is a curl defining cream. They all have a group of products, they have the shampoos, they have the conditioners, they have so many things but these are the ones I have personally used so again if you use it and they work for you, let us know. This was really good um, mahogany naturals. This I use in spray my hair. It's just a liquid solution, water based, and it helps again to keep your hair moisturized. So you can try this out. I also came across Caracare. Caracare is one of those companies that do really good products, but this particular time they started doing products for natural hair. Again, try them out. Um, I got these samples, I have used them, and I'm happy with them. So your hair is all done now, you're happy with yourself. But you have options. Do I want to just leave it open or do I want to put it in braids? Do I want to put it in cornrows? Do I want to put on a weave? Those are choices you have. But again, you need to keep your hair moisturized constantly. And we recommend leaving conditioners. They're liquid. They don't sit on the base of your scalp and make your hair dirty. So one of the ones we've worked with, we're very happy with, is the Better Braids. They have, theirs is medicated. Same here, same there. We have the African Pride range as well. And then we have the Stace of Fro range. They are just liquid and mostly water-based, which is what our natural hair needs. It loves water for it to be moisturized. So whatever products you're going for, read the content, it has to contain a lot of water. So as always, we do a lot of research. We don't just sit here and tell you things. Remember, I'm a well-qualified hairdresser. Um, I've done all my training and I've been working with natural hair for as long as I can remember. So these are some of the books we have worked with over the years. Now you remember the Good Hair DVD? It's for you to go and get it and again help yourself get more informed. 
this is a book that we worked with and i mean basically read and is the only book that actually talked to you about what actually happened before we started looking at products these days and you know what's happening in the african this community is some, this is a book that i actually love so much this lady madam cj walker she existed in the 18th century she was the first black woman to become a millionaire the first woman to become a millionaire and all she did, did she did this from working with hair so it's up to you to find out for yourself. This is a book I got about her. Hair Story is one of my favorite books. It talks about how the black hair came to be such a big issue. Again, it's for you to do your research, read it and get informed. Let's talk hair. This is one of the hair books, hair books that actually got me into hair. When I read this book, it opened my eyes so much about what's happening with black hair. It's up to you to get informed. The Science of Black Hair, this book only just came out. Uh, it talks so much about products. It's your choice to try and find out what products are best for you. Again, it's here for you to understand and Amazon has it. Now, remember my hairdressing days, African Caribbean hairdressing. This book helped me a lot. I hope this video has been useful to you because we had so many inquiries and we just thought it would be important to bring all this to your attention. Now, before we sign off, our DVD. Again, if you want to get into natural hair designing and styling, this gets you started. We have it on our website, worldofbraidingacademy.com. We've talked about it several times. So, you want to get into the industry, start with this. We're happy to hear from you all the time. Now, to get our immediate attention, email us, joy at worldofbraiding.com or info at worldofbraiding.com. Because when you write to us from YouTube, it takes time for us to go in there and see what you've asked us. And sometimes people think we're ignorant. And if you want to hear more about this, we do write a blog. Our blog contains all the information that we talk about on our YouTube videos, worldofbraiding.wordpress.com. We're more than happy to respond, talk to you, chat with you, share our experiences in life. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We love you watching and commenting on them.